So with basic strings in JavaScript there are a couple of problems that you might come up against. But in the last revision of JavaScript there was a new feature called template literals which addresses these problems. So what are these problems that you might encounter with strings in JavaScript? Well the first one is that you can't have multi-line or spaces in between your strings. So for example I've got a bit of dummy text that's been saved into this text variable here and if I wanted to put a new line inside of it you can see we get an error in our console saying that we haven't actually closed off our string, we've got an unterminated string. That's because we've added a new line and JavaScript thinks that the statement we had on the line above has finished but it can't find the end of the string. So that's one issue you might come up against if you're dealing with large blocks of text. The other thing is dealing with quotes inside of these strings as well. So for example if I wanted to put some quotes around this word Obviously the first quote I've added closes the string and now the text in between the quotes is trying to be parsed as some JavaScript code which it doesn't mean anything. So we can get around that by using double quotes for our strings as well, that's perfectly fine. And vice versa if we wanted to use double quotes inside a single quoted string. Or we could escape these quotes inside the string by putting a backslash before them. But this can be a lot of work and remembering where all the quotes are or remembering to use the right type of quotes can cause you a problem. So the final problem is dealing with variables inside of strings. So it might be a case where we've got a variable and we want to add it somewhere inside our string. So let's say I wanted to add the name variable that I've created at some point in the string. What I would need to do is actually finish the string and then add on the name variable into the point where I've chosen in the string. And you can see that's now been added to the string on the right hand side. But this can get a bit complicated, especially if you've got lots of variables that you want to put at different points in the string. But luckily, template literals is something that solves all three of these problems. So a template literal really is just another type of string. And we define it not using quotes, but using backticks. So you can see just by wrapping our text in the backticks, nothing's really changed. And our text variable is still holding the string. But now our first problem of adding new lines and white space inside the string isn't a problem. And also we can use any type of quotes that we want inside our template literal string. There's no need to escape them, which is handy because there's no need to escape them or do anything special when you're adding quotes inside a template literal. And the final thing of adding a variable inside the template literal, we can literally just make space down here. We can include our variable inside the template literal. Uh, the only thing we need to do is put a dollar and opening and closing curly braces. And then we just literally type in the variable name that we want to reference. And you can see in the right hand side, we don't display name. We actually put my name inside the template literal. And this just provides an easier way to actually put your variables inside parts of your text. So there are a couple of other features that come with template literals that are handy. But for the moment, all you need to know is that you can use a template literal in place of a string. And it just makes life a bit easier if you've got blank spaces, variables or quotes inside your strings. And you don't really need to worry about doing anything special with them. So we've taken quite an in-depth look at strings over the last couple of videos. So we're now going to look at working with numbers and some of the math functions that are built into JavaScript.